WYPA Up Radio with MC8. Steel and Big James has taken over the radio station. Well, all right, y'all. Uh, all across the USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. From on to California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer county. So if you're keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Hey. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned into the real MC8, Big James, and Big Stale. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. We represent. We'd like to welcome everyone to another episode of the Gangster Chronicles podcast. And I'm with my partners, Big J. Yeah. And you know, America for the long, uh, the longest time has been infatuated with gangsterism. For real. Whether from Crips, Bloods, to the Italian Mafia. And today we have one, you can almost say the face of the Mafia. Right. Sammy the Bull. How's it going, Sam? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The pleasure is all ours. I'm going to start off the top and just get it out the way. We we, we want to say the epitome of gangster. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? The, yeah, the, the, yeah, the epitome yeah, of gangster. Yeah, definitely. And to have you and James in the same room is, is you know, I think you guys have man, a lot of luck. Not a mount up to this man yeah. right here. Don't even give me that shit. No, listen. Listen. He's trying on. to put you in the comparison. No, hey, no, listen, no way. Listen, no, Kobe, listen, no Kobe and Jordan here. Don't no, put me on that. Okay, no comparison. I would not accept that. No, listen right, to what I'm saying, bro. Y'all personalities are a lot alike. Okay. You know, from you know me looking at them, you know, some of the yeah. way you were raised and came up, right. some of the principles you have, you guys share a lot of the same ideas. Uh, we do. I'm a little better looking than him, but oh, there, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get this question out the way because I, I felt your pain when you heard the tapes from John Gotti. What was going through your mind when you heard him on the wiretaps? Well, first of all, anybody could get caught on the wiretap, mm. so it didn't bother me too much. It was stupid. He talked about things we did years ago. When you get away with a crime, you don't go bullshitting about it years later. And But he did, and he got caught. That didn't bother me too much. There was a lot of lies on those tapes, and uh, that bothered me a little bit. I didn't understand why. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of complaining about me. But uh, towards the end, what he did is he met with the lawyers the, law, the tapes were so bad, all the lawyers, the biggest lawyers in New York said, you can't beat this case. The, the tapes are plain as day. You're dead. Look to take a plea, look to do something. So he devised an idea of what to do. Is that he was going to use the tapes, control the lawyers, to tell the jurors, you could hear the tapes. John got his complaining against about this animal. It's him killing everybody, taking over, doing this. John is complaining about him, hoping that the jury would convict me and set him free. So when this idea came up, me and him met, I was in prison with him already, 11 months, waiting for trial. I said, John, is that what you really want to do? The cops, the agents, they're our enemy, but they're doing their job. They gotta put the bad guys away, we the bad guys. That's their job. Me and you are tight, we're brothers, we're friends. You're backing them up. To me, that's a rap move. So I told him, you really wanna do that? And he told me, Sammy, you gotta take the weight. It falls like that, it looks like that. I'm the boss and the boss has got to be free. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Then I got in touch with the government. I flipped, I flipped sides and went my, my own way. Basically, that's what happened. I've been arrested all my life. Murders, double murders. Some I committed, some I didn't commit. Never flipped. And they always asked me that. I hated that. But uh, that, I was so close. It was like... My brother, my closest person to me, just threw me to the dogs. I wouldn't let it happen. 
So when when he tried to pretty much force you or get you to take the whole rap and he get away with it. The escape goal. So that made you feel like I'm nothing but a pawn now. You using me. So that make you feel like, okay, what if I flip the strip and say, fuck that, I ain't taking the rap for that. Great, great point. Great point. Because I'm not on the tapes talking. Uh. He's on the tapes talking. So if you want me to flip the script, I would say that easily. Brother, you're on the fucking tape. You're caught talking. Right. You want me to take the fucking weight? You should be telling me, Sammy, you're not even on these tapes. You could beat this fucking case. We'll get a, uh, a separation, separate trials. Mm -hmm. You can beat the case. You ain't on them fucking tapes talking about it. And I am. am. So you should take the weight. If it was me, I would take the weight. I'm on the tape. I'm doing the talking. I'm the one that created this indictment. I'm going to cut you loose. You loose. If so I can. Where's the loyalty at? It's like they're the enemy, not us. Whoever wins, wins amongst us. Right. We gotta fight for each other. Right. If I can cut you loose off to the case, I'll cut you loose. Not that I'm gonna may help the government convict you so I can get out. I think that self-explains everything. It and does. then some people say it's full of shit. But there's so many documents, so many people who flipped after this, and it's, it's documented. It's history now. It's documented history. So, you know, that's the thing with John Gotti. Now, do I hate him? People say this, that, and the other thing. I, if he was out now, I would like to kill him. I'll shoot him right in the fucking head. But I don't hate him. We were attached at the hip. I feel sorry how he died, like a dog in prison. Mm. We played chess. He was playing checkers, and I played chess. I checkmated him. He made the wrong fucking moves. I was never pinched all my life. My rap sheet is as long as anybody's. And they always ask me, Sammy, we, you get no time. I'll give you an example. I, I cooperated. I been for the last years, 10 different cases, I've been a witness for the defense against the government to get people out. What guy cooperates and does that? Right. One. Two, they got to hate me for that. So when I got in trouble in Arizona with an ecstasy case taking over Arizona, ecstasy, they smashed me. I lent them money to buy ecstasy. And I got 20 fucking years. Mm. It was payback for the government. Ah, we got it. And I, and I got slammed. Even in that case, they asked me to testify against the other people. I said, no. Absolutely not. I don't want to use the language I did use, but no. I said no. This the guys the Chronicles. Use it. You can use it. Yeah. That's what the people love. Right. So that's the way it is. That's what happened with John Gotti, stuff like that. So we ain't supposed to have no heavy uh, shit. But no, go ahead, bro. But I know Norm ain't gonna ask me no bad questions because he knows I got a gun under the table. No, for sure. I know he already told me. He already told me. He already told me, he already told me big motherfuckers like me get smoked, so I'm asking you. Hey, 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 look, your hands on the motherfucking table. I, I, I told him when he pulled it, I pulled it in the parking lot. I said, but now let's send me the bull now. Should I take my gun out of the trunk? <laughs> because before I saw him, I thought he was this big guy. And then when I see him talking to you, I'm like, oh, no, I can leave my gun. I don't need my gun. Finally get a chance to let the real